What's going on YouTube here with my uh, Stoger Condor? Um, bought it a year ago. I was having the uh, same issue everybody else was having. Um, go cock it and uh, wasn't engaging the uh, second barrel. Only firing. Get the first out of it and boom. There, it's not uh, not engaging the second sear. And uh, just barely. So I took everything apart, was figuring out uh, maybe there's something a little loose, some kind of give somewhere, and, and I figured it out. What it is is right here in the safety. Um, have some corrosion. Um, this little uh, bar right here goes for the safety. Push that out there. Uh, pretty easy and how I figured it out is is that uh, when I took it apart I seen in this little hole I mean you can see all the corrosion all the rust and it was just a lot a lot of uh, particles and pieces probably of metal in there stuck in there from machining or what whatnot and wouldn't let that pin go all the way forward so I uh, cleaned it out shot some grease in there Cleaned it out, um, used a little uh, screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and, and scraped out the inside as much as I could. And uh, it seems to be uh, what the problem was. So now I'll put it back in there. Alright. Put it back in there. Okay. Now, you see, it wasn't, it was just stopping. It was stopping the safety from going all the way up into the fire. And now you can see, I mean, it is engaging with the sear there. And there it is. I mean, pretty simple. I don't know if it's because of the what type of metal it is with, you know, the other type of metal that it's making it corrode. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I know I've heard that before, but I'm going to go in there with some, some more grease and stuff and, and, and really clean it out. But because, uh, I mean, there's something wrong there, but now it seems to be working pretty good. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, it's in safe. On fire. All the way forward. One. I mean, it's, it's going pretty good now, too. Both engaging the sear, don't have to worry about it. I mean, I was getting deadly accurate with that bottom, <laughs> but now, now I can I finally fire both barrels. Uh, hopefully, it'll make a difference. So, yeah, it's not inertia driven like everybody was saying. I mean, I knew that I, I sent away with for one time, but it, it just didn't work. Um, it came back, worked fine, and then I let it sit in my uh, gun locker. And here I am again. So I figured I'd find out for myself, and I think I found the culprits right here in this, this safety mechanism, uh, that linkage. I'm not sure if it if everybody's going to have the same thing with the fouling and the gum up, but you know maybe maybe put a little bit of uh, grease or something there, uh, making sure it goes all the way forward. Uh, I also pulled the safety spring down a little bit more and. Maybe that made a difference also, not sure. Um, but here I'll cock it one more time, show you. Um, that everything's working just fine. Um, got it on safe right now. Not engaging, all the way forward. And once here, I mean it goes right in there now. <laughs> You know, hopefully that'll uh, that'll do the trick. Cause I mean, even though everybody says it's it's a piece of crap, uh, I don't mind shooting it. It's pretty fun. So hopefully that helps everybody else out. Uh, put some comments in there if if anybody else found something out different. But y'all have a good one.